It's the anime rap god. Six seconds or Crimson Fucks, whatever you prefer. Download my debut free album down below. That shit is free. Like I said, let's work though. <laughs> Fairy tale. This is far from a fairy tale, bitch. I'm quite a display. The fire dragon slayer stay in line with my flames. Not suit the dragon, guard of this game. My style is crimson lotus. Explode the flames from my blade. I'm brilliant. Testing my wit and your fall. You'll get ignited quicker than the dragon slayer doll. Till the last flame burns. It won't no one get near it. I got the key to this. Controlling celestial spirits. Wavy as Aquarius. I suggest you get running. My presence forces gates closed. The moment that I'm summoned. You can't survive spells made from this mage. So strong on my Oh, I can unison raid. Lucy feels the strength the moment I get next to her. The only thing close is known as Uranometria. Parts drunk, on liquor, you gon' see it. And I stay with armor on, equipped with telekinesis. Hair of a scarlet, and I got a thing for Erza. My sword skills top tier, niggas fear when I share them. I slice to the air, we'll see a hundred monsters' motions. And it ain't seduction armor when it cuts away your clothing. I'm a motherfucking maniac, brainiac, shown by the day. Ice cold in Europe, full buster like gray, which is strange, cause this element describes that I'm nice. When I step, people freak. Cause what I give off is ice I'm sitting on a gold mine The top of the roster And my cannons give chase Some say I'm off of my rocker The illest thing in the cosmos You say you letting gats peel Well I stay with more metal equipped Than Gadjil Black steel Marvel that got it all locked Sir with a roar that splits water Best call up your doctor Or I'll change your face Like Mira Jane when she transforms I'll go full demon And it ain't even my last form I stand tall as Macaron in the form of a titan with a form more shocking than laxus when using lightning i'm pulling all of your cards that's connor yo catch a left hand it's pure beast this is my takeover like elf man the soul of an animal lasana couldn't fathom any guild you build up i'll beat down till i vanish i got a solid script written to run this show that's levy and i'm making sure i let y'all know no matter how happy you are you'll fear once you hear me say you're more pussy than every cat in this series carla panther lily you're lucky to name a few i'll disassemble you like your darts and ain't nobody saving you i'm bored of y'all can't none of you get the best of me step to me and turn stone like staring at evergreen i'll cage you in darkness and you'll never be free because i mastered the black guards like zerub as you can see while neglecting to behold that i'm something you ain't see before jello fernandez after activating meteor all my songs sacred this is what i bear my Hard four, I'm hardcore, blowing all away with my dark force. Download animated. Yes, this is godly, so godly. Uh, shout out to Matt, he cooked up something real. Yes, Shizzy be that. Who am I, Kimmy model bitch at a sound five with bones hard as stones, face eyes, suicide, I'll slay a clan, you'll suffer from side skate sorrow, then I'll be gone in a yellow flash like Monado. I go harder than Jugo's fist, spitting grand fire balls, but you know this, you know six, the tail is tail beast, boy, I'm not you, bringing flames hotter than an I'm at Tarasu, raw, I go gates and you say goodnight, nigga, coming for my angles, then the crystal ice mirrors, I figured niggas would try to knock me back, cause someone, they'll Never see like what's underneath Kakashi's mask with proper acts. I'm making sure you hate six, but still watch me move like Tsunade's tits. Cause I do it big as Choji, yeah, the eyebrows on Rock Lee. Acting like Makage Bushins, but you still are not me. I'm obscene. Genocidal, starting drama first. Taking moms from niggas like Gara's birth. Better recognize I'm fucking sick. Doubt this, that's horseshit. I'm sharper than the blades of a hit and miss swordsman. Villages flee when I dispatch this wrath. Why you think they call me the sage of the six pack? 
packs with six packs of pain, leaving almighty shook, launching niggas away with an almighty push. This is tail beast bomb released through a hot flow, a red-headed beast of a shinobi like Nagato. More sting than a killer bee, more raps than killer bee, a fucking jinchuriki. You really think that you killing me and I'm boo? See my job to slay you and get paid in a way where you wouldn't come back with Edo Tensei. Madara, how these little niggas are father them? Killing any village and tell the motherfuckers that it is not wise to bother them. I'm a fucking villain, a rogue shinobi who does not play to stand even a chance. Get the past five Hokages, the Misu Kage, the Rai Kage, the Kaze Kage. Every member of a Katsuki to stop me. The story, Chidori, battle me, it's gonna be gory. I'm known to pull strings like Kankoro and Sasori. Ask Eno, she know I ain't a hero. A fresh face to rap, yours got old. Chiyo, with a Rasen Shuriken, you'll either die or be gone or get your eye taken like Shisui Uchiha. Pest, I'll use the sand coffin as a fly swat. A kind of ironic, cause I'm way flyer than Daidara. Eyes of Itachi, more heart than Kakazu and quicker hands than Guy. You really want me to box what you find? I'll transform and make sure you see monster throwing more palms than Neji Yuga. Say he not as you nigga snakes in the grass. Orochimaru, that I can body from the shadows like Shikamaru. Get bent, I got more forms than Ben 10 and more weapons ready than motherfucking 10 10. Beyond a deuce deuce, squads ready to shoot you. You couldn't escape with a substitute juke suit. Stay in check, you're not L and I'm not you. A finger flick for me will break through a Susanu. Turn sage mode to ashes, turn heat on to nothing, bitch. I'm the biggest creature that isn't down for summoning. Bitch boy, cease claiming that you're nicer. Your end will be way more dramatic than Jariah's. I'll stuff you in a dryer. All your moves bore me up, yawn and wake up to your girl blowing this morning cock. I'm out to be king, you're a mean as a lame. Getting in that ass like a thousand years of pain. We ain't getting kin kaku, we're far from the same. Cause my chakra's insane. Like Karama out his cage Switch, change them off the chain Try to possess cause I want that brain Flames, burning up a village you can't put out Try to take my route, but to set your name Now stay in pout, bringing on your leader Better take him out like Obito in his younger years When the big boulder laid him out Ouch, ouch Shurikens in my pouch Wanna go buff a bar a star for star But things are gonna go stop I'm fast motherfucker You think you'll keep up You fucking with a dog Keep up Get sealed away I'm here to stay You're fucking with a damn Reaper Me sweat you You're nothing but a zetsu Once I say Kutone You'll know I'm gonna get you No time for you scumbags Like Kabuto Cause I'm the star of this show Naruto I'm a fool for this one nigga I know But you can't do it better pussy Dr. Bio Y'all know what that sound means. I'm back. Figured I'd give y'all a sequel. If y'all ain't seen part one, feel free to go watch it. Feel free to download my debut free album too. It'll be in the description. Do it after this though. Let me prove myself. Y'all ready? Who am I, Kimmy Maro? Now that I'm back, you'll get slayed. Only difference is I return through Edo Sensei. And anyone can catch it. Anybody try to stop me, they'll get a hold to the chest like Obito Shokakashi. This is fat. This ain't just me being cocky. I pop eyes out like Madara did Kakashi. Kakashi been losing a lot. I'm just making sure y'all get me. And your girls will get a big wood through them like Neji. <laughs> R.I.P. My squad, we do not play. Battle me, commit suicide like Isame. Let's pick up where we left off on Naru Flow 1. Cause now I'm on some shit that'll leave Naruto done. I got an army on deck. Kill when this strikes get you at all legendary ninjas and a million white Zetsus. Not that I need them. Cause war ain't nothing new to me. Especially since you're looking at the ten till Jinchuri key. I've isolated one through nine inside the statue and hoarded them in myself with intent to clap you unmatchable. So I enter this so calm, getting paper. You just watch me blow it. That's Conan, yeah. I got push and pull like Nagato. I stay first, you clone, and you basically are your motto. Uh, you better get in check before I grip your neck. You won't come back like awesome muscle. Smoke your final cigarette. Shikamaru couldn't strategize for me to stop, bro. Cause I gas shit, wear a mask like Hanzo. Offing y'all, pulling y'all strings like Chio Eno wouldn't mind switch. My brain's more bugged than Shino. There's art to my madness like the odds of that's origami. Hence why y'all blow up like every move from Gari. Fuck a seal of hand sign. I'm strictly gonna do him your cuss. What I bring is fire. That's everything for Kura. So he then he wanted to get from people that know me. Cause 
Cause I hold big metal like fucking Toroi I'm colder than Chukichi's frost Stay on point like Nui Bari Bitch, that's Kushimaru's needle off you Then come join your bodies I'm a threat, you challenge me You were born slow I'll treat you like Tsunade And tear in half your torso Vicious, they wouldn't show this harm So ill when fighting me Gara unfolds his arms uh, Shocking as Darui This lightning storm's not to play Four times as sharp as the sword on me Fune, anybody looking frail I eat I'll bring you new pain Six waves like Toby and the tail beast Nigga, there ain't nobody hotter I'm about to have more gold than the sand Out of Gara's father, third Raikage When it comes to the speed of me Snatching your broad and leaving her on her knees Jeez, I suggest you don't show face when I'm through Better yet, wherever you step, camouflage like blue Cause the second that I spot you, shit's gonna be mean Burn, second Mizukage when I'm letting off steam Trent, uh I'm the hardest in my section I take orders from no one I got out my resurrection I'm the legend that they said Would stretch you for trying to Stab him in the back Like Zetsu the Madara I've been killing shit Since the days of the Uski And my been strongest Kaguya So your shit isn't new to me And I don't care if being the best Is what means a lot to you I'm clearly your superior And the Ta'ashida Real So if anyone dares to call me phony They're gonna dream forever That's infinite Tsukuyomi Be it any whole Kage One through four I'll treat you niggas like the second and nail you to the floor uh, and i know that you hate that you're not me so i'll make you watch all of my success through izanami that's over and over on infinite loop until you see the fact that it's true you despise what i am because i'm what you want to stack to i'm big and more hard body than the cheeto statue uh, i'm the man your broad want to screw me because i take it to dimensions you can't get to it kamui slaying all shinobis pound for pound it's a shame i'm still getting in that ass like a thousand years of pain So now they tits are still huge At times I wanna box with them Anywho, competitors fall flat like Sakura's And when it comes to chakra Mine's more than potent and powerful Than guys with all their gates open The sage of six pads after eating the fruit Right off of the tree of life The very moment that it blooms Armored with Kakashi Susanoo Shining guns from Obito A guarantee a finger flick will knock you to a coma Tell some fucking shit now This very moment's my best day To show I'm stone cold That's Chibaku Sensei of evolution, reshaping the very world. This is revolution. I'm beast and I show it through a hot flow, and you'll never do this shit better. Dot the bio. All right, people, what's going on today? Hopefully, everybody is having a great uh, weekend here. Hopefully, everybody had a great week as well. Hopefully, everybody's gonna have a great Sunday coming up into a, another great week. Um, but as the title suggests here, we are about to get started. Um, tournament has not started yet, but I'm actually going to practice with a friend first. And um, as many of you know who have been here before, he is not keen or adept when it comes to managing time in any sense of the word. So that's why I started a little bit late here. Um, but I suppose while we're waiting, <laughs> I suppose while we're waiting, I can do more in-depth deck breakdown um, of my deck decision and my card decisions of which I'm going to bring into the tournament today. Um, before we hop into anything, I just want to thank all my supporters and also I appreciate you, Jasmine, being here as well. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, Jasmine also streams over on Twitch. You can feel free to uh, drop it in the chat. Um, if it's a link, Nightbot might catch it. <laughs> But you can just do what you did before and just say your Twitch name in chat. That is perfectly fine. A little bit of final touches here before I hop into it. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. And then let's bring this back. Oh, wait, wait. Got rid of the wrong one. Give me one second. <laughs> uh, yeah, this needs to go. All right, there we go. Um, so that's about it. Uh, in testing, I have learned quite a bit about the synergies and non-synergies with this deck. Um, so, I might have to change the frame here a little bit. Because it's trying to go up on the left side now. There we go. All right. So, it's good now. All right. 
Um, so I'm going to do the deck breakdown first, and I'm going to go back over and I'm going to uh, explain the synergies as well as the non-synergies with this deck that I've learned in testing and the minute nuances that um, I personally need to remember. Uh, so here's the deck list. We've got four Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, four Snapcat. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> I'm to make sure. Um, I was checking something there for a second. Okay. We got four Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, four Snapcaster Mage, three Archmage's Charm, three Cryptic Command, three Force of Negation, four Lightning Bolt, four Opt. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. My, uh, there we go. No wonder. That's why I needed to check. Okay. Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> All right. I was going to fix that later on, but it's okay. Um, so we'll go back over. We got four Emrakul, the Aeons, Torn, four Snapcaster Mage, three Archmage's Charm, three Cryptic Command, three Force of Negation, four Lightning Bolt, four Opt, four Remand, four Through the Breach, four Reflecting Pool, four Cascade Bluffs, Four Valakut Awakening, two Fiery Islet, one Mianmo School at Water's Edge, one Aboro Palace in the Clouds, one River of Tears, four Spire Bluff Canal, four Temple of Epiphany, and two Basic Islands to round out the main board. In the sideboard, we've got two Alpha Progenitus, two Ceremonious Rejections, two Aether Gust, four Madcap Experiment, two Platinum Imperion, and three Boil. Okay, so obviously this deck is trying to cast through the breach, get it to resolve. With Emrakul in hand, you slam Emrakul on the board, it's got haste, you swing in, it's got Annihilator 6, so on the attack trigger, which is important before it blocks, the opponent has to sacrifice 6 permanents, and it also has protection from colored spells. Um, so very hard for the opponent to interact with in most cases if you get through the breach plus Emrakul to resolve. Um, four Snapcaster Mage, because we're in a controlled deck shell, Snapcaster can flash back usually remand, that's four mana total. Um, can also flash back opt, which is three mana total. Same thing with flashing back uh, lightning bolt. And you can actually flash back for some negation too. Um, and because you're casting it, you have the option to do the uh, force pitch instead of paying the entire mana cost of force. Um, so synergy is there with uh, Snapcaster Mage as well. Uh, Snapcaster Mage has been a big part of Modern ever since I can remember. Um, it's just a staple in any control shell, um, especially in blue-red colors. Three Archmage's Charm. I considered uh, switching this for Prismari Command. I still have not tested it with Prismari Command, but since uh, the deck was performing well in practice, I'm not going to change it to Prismari Command. But uh, that is also an alternative. Archmage's Charm is pretty, pretty slow. Um, and it also costs three uh, blue sources to cast. So in that regards, it is kind of difficult to cast, um, even in a shell like this. Um, but those modes are really versatile. And of course, just counterspell uh, and a control shell go hand in hand together. Uh, I've got three cryptic command um, for obvious reasons. Three force of negation. Um, four Lightning Bolt, for obvious reasons. Uh, opt and Remand, of course. Through the Breach, of course, the star of the show. Um, so the mana base is probably the toughest thing to remember and the toughest thing to manage in this deck. Uh, we've got four Reflecting Pool, four Cascade Bluffs. Um, do not forget that Valakut Awakening can also be a land as a red source. Um, that is very important. We got two fiery islet for that versatility in the card draw, that utility. We got one Miyamo School at Water's Edge because it's a blue source that comes in untapped. Um, same thing with the Bora Palace in the Clouds, but the synergy with the Bora Palace in the Clouds is you can tap it for a blue and use that same blue mana source to put it back in your hand before you Valakut Awakening. That way you get a net one, uh, a net one card draw if you're looking for a combo piece. Um, so that's why uh, Boro is in the deck uh, to synergize with Valkyrie Awakening. We've got River of Tears as well because it's a blue source that comes in untapped as well. Um, only on your opponent's turn. So you play this on your own turn and usually you're holding up um, interaction because uh, obviously we're in a control shell. So River of Tears is quite fine. Um, very few times you'll play this land and we 
we're going to use it on our own turn as black mana um, or be forced to i should say we got forced by our bluff canal for obvious reasons it can come in untapped uh, majority of the time in the early game we got fourth temple of epiphany um for that scryage action try to get closer to our combo pieces we've got two basic islands to try and protect against blood moon um blood moon does tear this deck up a little bit um actually a lot but it doesn't stop the through the breach because there's no blue sources uh use to cast through the breach and it doesn't stop the madcap experiment either because you don't use blue sources to cast madcap experiment so blood moon is kind of a slow against this deck if they're like blood moon aggro that could be um concerning uh but we have two islands uh to try and do something against blood moon um especially in the early game sideboard relic for obvious reasons um i went with relic, relic of progenitus because it's card draw and we're trying to get closer to the combo. If we weren't a combo deck or a control deck, I'd probably run either Graph Diggers or Tormod Script because they do tend to get a little bit more value. Um, Tormod Script is zero CMC and Graph Diggers Cage, it can stop uh, creatures from libraries entering the battlefield. So if you're not a control deck or a combo deck, I'd suggest going with Tormod Script or uh, Graph Digger's Cage, but Relic, because that card draw is very essential to a control strategy. We got two Ceremonies Rejection against Tron mainly, and also against other colorless entities. Um, we might run into two Aether Gust, obviously. Um, Aether Gust is a big, big card in the meta right now because there's so much Jund running around, as well as uh, Red Burn, whether that be Mono Red Burn or Prowess, or even uh, Boros Burn. So many uh, red and green spells in the meta. It's like a, an extremely huge part of the meta. So Aether Gust is going to be an all-star, um, at least currently. Then we've also got the Madcap Experiment into Platinum Imperion package. Um, so I found this out in testing the hard way. Um, you do not want to put in Relic along with Platinum Imperion into Madcap. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have Relic and Platinum Imperion be artifact cards. And then when you go to Madcap, you might reveal a relic instead of revealing the platinum Imperion. Um, and then you'll probably you're probably gonna lose at that point. So take definitely a note to self there to not side in relic along with platinum and mad cat. Um so if you if you need the grave hate, you have to choose if you want to play mad cap or if you want to play uh relic of Genesis. You cannot have both because it's it's gonna be a non-synergy there. Um, and then three boil for the uh, control matchups. Um, control is obviously one of the worst matchups against this deck, I'd say. Either control or just straight up uh, aggro burn. Um, so boil is definitely a equalizer in that scenario um, in regards to control decks. All right, I'm going to see if uh, the homie is here yet. Um, I'll be right back very shortly.
<sighs> All right, looks like he will not be able to make it before the tournament starts, but I will be able to play him uh, sometime during the tournament when I have some downtime in between the rounds. All right, let's go ahead and get it started here. Put this to the side real quick. And yeah. Actually want that. Ah, uh, I want this over here now. All right. Let's go ahead and get round one in here. Modern. All right. Enter. Reaching. Shuffle three times. No more, no less. Draw. Uh, this is a keepable hand, actually. So just so people know, I'm actually not cheating before my opponent gets here. There is a log that your opponent can check. So that's why I drew my hand first. Even before my opponent got here. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Trying to save as much uh, time as possible. I'm in the first round opponent here. And this is moving kind of slow today. Let me see what's going on in the lobby real quick. I guess we're just here waiting. You know what? Um, maybe homie can play before first round. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I got the right time. <laughs> Definitely positive on that front. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's usually never this slow. That's interesting. 
I'm not throwing away this hand. Let's see if he's ready. Oh my God. All right. Looks like uh, we're gonna have to wait for a few more minutes here, guys. Um, I'm probably gonna play some Pokemon Showdown. Um, so yeah, we'll see if anybody joins. This is uh, eventful, <laughs> or a lack thereof. Give me a few seconds here. All right, plan B, I'm not talking about the pill, baby. <laughs> um, all right. Pokemon shot it is for a few minutes while I wait for a round one here. And I'll have to uh, change the window yet again. This is lovely. Well, I'm not tossing away this hand though. <laughs> this hand is great. Okay, there we go. First round opponent, right? When showdown starts. Okay, that's fine though. We can always grind showdown. Uh all right. Let's put this over here. And oh, they mold once. Shrink the persona a little bit. And that should be good. Uh, they're going first, though, so they have to tell me if they're keeping or not. All right, we're going to try to play as tight as humanly possible. Giggity. Uh, it didn't show us the companion at all, so we can't get information off of that. Ooh, okay. Uh, so looking at this. Which tar becomes a 1-5 white soldier creature to the turn still a land. Uh, not really seen that land all that much in the meta at least. Um, interesting. We do know they're playing something white though, and it could be tokens. They're playing one five by soldiers, or if this dynamic soldiers, they could be playing tokens, or it could be just something that's mono white, like uh, humans or something like that. I guess um, something tribal. They're playing white. Okay, let's draw for turn. Or it could just be an enabler for another card. I'm not thinking of right now. <clears throat> um. 
Jimmy and Spiral have not enter first tier. Uh, reflecting pool and cascade bluffs is turned on. We'll be dropped those for future turns. So nothing to do second phase, end phase. There you go. Plays a basic point. Yeah, this is mono white. What is this? This is just walls. Uh Yes, that's fine. Um, draw. Yeah, this is making me think it's just like, <laughs> like I said, it's just tribal. Um, okay, interesting. Uh, Outfit Awakening is also technically a land, which I have to remember. Um, I definitely don't want to play a temple now. I'm going to put. Uh, let's put Reflecting Pool down, I suppose. Oh, no. We want to put Cascade Bluffs down in case he plays Ghost Corner, I suppose, and Leon Arbiter. So we'll put Remand up in the shoe as well as... Oh, uh, no, we're not going to put Snapcaster in the shoe. Okay, so let's... Second phase, and there you go. This is probably going to remand. Yes. Uh, this is about to get remanded. Can't have him drawn more cards, especially in white. Remand, target the wall. Goes back to his hand. Draw a card. Land is okay here. Exalted. Well, this just gives Exalted. That's actually interesting. Alright, let's untap, upkeep, draw. Force is okay here. But he, him playing white, he probably doesn't have much force, honestly. Um, We can play... I don't want to play Temple because now I'll be off of Valakut Awakening. So we can play... We can play Reflecting Pool. We can do this main phase two. We can play Reflecting Pool and hold up Valakut Awakening. We can toss away everything here, honestly. We could toss away everything here besides the Emrakul. And besides, we're going to pass turn to him. I'm going to toss away everything here besides the Emrakul and a land. Yeah, we want to keep the land. Because we might not draw another land off the Valak Pit. And we have enough cards to justify keeping a land in hand. Another Omen. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is the one I put back into his hand. Um, I can't snap past three minutes because that's four minutes total. Uh, yeah, it's gonna have to hit the board. No response to that. This is a one. This is gonna be a one four on the attack. Uh. Valakut Awakening. I'm going to toss away the other Valakut Awakening and I'm going to keep my basic island. Uh, so yeah, we toss away everything here. Uh, actually, we could Snapcast Reman. I'm going to keep Reman. I'm going to keep Snapcaster too. I'm going to keep Snapcaster. I'm going to keep the island and toss away everything else besides the Emrakul. So we'll drop three and we'll bottom four. So I'll put 
the force nearest the top. Actually, no, we won't valid it near this nearest the top, just in case. Combo doesn't quite work out for us the first time. So bottom and then bottom force. And then bottom the temple. And then I'll draw four. Bottom three, draw four. Uh, all right, and then my go, I'll untap, upkeep, draw. We draw another force. So now we can snap cast remand, and then we can through the breach the following turn. So do I actually want to put, no, I want to put an untap land in the play now. Uh, so we'll get down the second Cascade Bluffs. And then hold up Snapcast Remand. Let's see, one filter for Snapcast. One, and one for Remand. Yeah, okay. Uh, so second phase. In step. There you go. I don't know why I didn't attack. Oh yeah, these can't attack because they're defender. I wonder what why he has this in there though. If he's playing walls. He probably has the uh the card that makes uh these do like switches their power toughness or whatever. <laughs> and they can attack. It gives them the clause that walls can attack and then it switches their power toughness. So we're holding up Snapcaster, Remand, as well as just straight up Force and Negation here. Five mana. This is probably going to get Remanded. Uh, when Palazes Lancers enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a legendary card. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to want to Snapcast Remand in this. Uh, filter Land. Add to blue, snapcast, like the remand. Yeah. This goes to exile, not draw a card. And then next turn we got through the breach and cool. Alright, so let's untap, upkeep, draw. And then let's play untap land. I'm gonna get down my fiery eyelet just in case. Then we'll play this before combat. And then through the breach. Slam Emrakul. Through the breach goes to uh, grave. Attack. Attack. You need a sec, six permanents. Okay, that's GG. Sure. Uh, finish game, play another. All right, game number two, keep existing plus open sideboard. Mono white walls. Diggity. Um. <laughs> I would put this in because they might be running vile, but I, I, we didn't see any uh, spell the spells there. Uh, Protect command is going to be nice here. Uh, force, I think I take out. Uh, we definitely want the uh, madcap package, right? Yeah. 
they're mono white, the only way they can win is through combat, I'm pretty sure. So we definitely want the mad cat package here. The fat mad cat package, mind you. The large monster mad cat package. Um so where's it at? Latin Pyrion. Mad cap experiment. We can take out I think we take out these forces, man. Oh, they could have Pat to Exile, though. So, I probably want to keep in some forces. Uh, let's see. Archmage's Charm could actually come in handy. Let's take out one Charm. Take out one Force. Take out four more. Lightning Bolt seems pretty pretty bad here since he's playing uh, defenders which can't um die due to them being higher in toughness than three toughness usually so we've got two archmage's charms we've got three cryptics all the emrakuls two forces no bolts the mad cat package Remember, no relics when we put in madcaps. All the snaps. Okay. Let's draw. Seven. This mana base or this mana these lands um that we drew are pretty bad. Um because we can't produce any colored mana, so I'm going to uh mull this for sure, but I need to know if they're mulling first or not. Just to uh get some little bit more information about their hand where they want to keep. First, we're going to mulligan this way. Um, send all to top. Shuffle three times. Draw seven. This is okay. We need a third land to turn on. Oh, I thought this was Archimedes Charm. This is just Force Negation. So we need a third. Oh, we don't need a third land to turn this on. We can pitch it to Cryptic Command. Um, we do need lands.
Um, I want to keep this just for, well, ah, uh, yeah, I should have, since I knew we were going, uh, since I knew we were going second, remains kind of bad. Kind of. This being a bolt would have been a little bit better since we're on the draw and not on the play. And I don't think we can get there with only two lands and one card draw. So I'm actually going to mull in this. And I'm going to mull the five. There's also something for future reference is uh, if we're on the draw, remand gets a little bit worse than if you're on the play. Just a tad bit worse. So I'm going to send all two. Top shuffle again, and I'm going to drop two. Since he's mono white, it's kind of uh, okay, though. I should have considered at least considered taking out the remand instead of taking out the lightning bolts. All right, this is okay. We've got four lands into Metacath Experiment. We also have Valakut Awakening, which can fetch us or find us and get us closer to the combo pieces here. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to drop two. Um, definitely going to drop at least one land here since we have opt. Or I could just keep all of them and keep Magcap Experiment to be the safest option. I don't want, I'm gonna keep the Valakut though, because it can get us actually win us the game, whereas Matacat only stalls the game. So I'm going to bottom probably not the Spire Bluff Canal. Probably bottom the Mianmo. And the uh, hold on. Yeah, bottom the Mianmo and the Cascade Bluffs. Yeah. So bottom the Cascade Bluffs and bottom the Bottom the Miyamo because we might need a basic land, right? Yeah. In case he has ghost quarter effects or feel the ruin effects. Alright, so I'll draw. Uh, let's draw one. We draw through the breach. Spire block canal. And then Instead, there you go. Swinging for one, sure. He's cracking his clue now. Oh, he's not. Ooh, so I can't snap cast. That was a good side. Um, so now I can't snap cast into rest in peace. Okay. Um, I can't do much about rest in peace either. Uh, so that was a reason to, or actually in response, no, I can't do that. Even if I got force off of the opt, I couldn't force to, uh, force the rest in peace. Um, so opt. Scry one, another opt. I mean, I can draw that, it's fine. Then hopefully we can draw land. Yeah, we need one more land here. So I'm gonna have some land that way. So that goes to exile, actually. Because uh, our rest in peace. And then I'll untap, upkeep, draw. That is a land that is quite okay. Oh, Valakut also counts as a land, but I don't want to use it as a land. Um, 
but it does. We technically do have Madcap online, though. If Hakuna is aligned, that is okay. Um, so we can do this main phase too. I don't want to opt and then scry or scry first and then opt. I guess I scry first. Doesn't really matter. Scry one. Three man's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep that on top and draw it with opt. And then in phase, there we go. I probably have mana tied in here too. So now he cracks the clue, draws one more, he gets his land. No attacks? Damn, interesting. Uh, in turn. Uh, opt. Definitely gonna draw the remand. Draw the remand. Goes to exile. Untap, upkeep, draw, cryptic command. All right, so now we can put remand in the shoot and put Valkyrie Awakening in the shoot. So second phase, nothing, and. There we go. He's tapping all out. Oh, oh not all out, okay. Definitely gonna get response to that. Um Yeah. Remand. I'll draw one. There's another third inspector. Yeah. You should have played the third inspector first and tried to bait the remand out. Uh, which I probably would not have remanded though, um, considering you had three mana still up, especially in mono white. But that is the way you want to play that though. Um, so looks like I'm actually playing Valakut as a land here just to play Madcap Experiment. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, there goes, there goes Cascade Bluffs, which is an untapped land. I can save Valica here and just play Madcap Experiment. Or I could hold up. Or I could hold up. Um, you know what he has in hand, though? It's uh, the first strike with the creatures and. Not basically when it's inner tap. So do I want to hold up Cryptic Command? It doesn't matter if I get Imperion on the field and then I go through the breach. Uh, and I did take Bolt out though, so I kind of do want to hold up Cryptic Command to counter that and then draw a card and just be safe. I'm actually going to end phase here and not Madcap, and then I'm going to Madcap the following turn. So I, I, need, I need to be able to actually that thing in the bin and get out of here so I can pass through the breach on curve and not have one of my lands come in tapped. Uh, that is interesting. Um, I'm going to let that resolve because you know what he has in hand. So 
Swinging for two, that's fine. Taking two. I'm going to counter draw. Oh, he didn't want to cast it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do this on his end step. Then I'm going to Malakut Awakening, toss away a Madcap. Oh, wait, I can still cast through the. No, this is to the non basic one. Um, let's see. I could Malakut now, but then I'd be down a land. Uh, return target permanent to... Oh, I could return the rest in peace to his hand. Draw a card. Then I wouldn't be able to snap cast anything anyways. So I guess I'd want to return... Oh, I could return the clue to his hand and force him to tap out. So, I mean, what are we really scared of? Uh, Path to exile, I suppose? Um... Yeah, let's just return the clue to his hand and make him tap out, I guess. Yeah. Let's cryptic. Let's draw. Oh, let's uh bounce the clue. It's non our target permanent. Uh Could make him bounce one of the lands. Yeah, let, let's bounce the Forbidding Watchtower. Draw one. Don't forget you can bounce lands with that. Uh, this goes to Grave. And then oh, untap, upkeep, draw. Okay, so there's our fifth land for Through the Breach. We just need Emrakul now. I'm actually going to madcap here. So main phase two. We can madcap now. Madcap. Uh, expand deck. This goes to exile. Madcap. He's gonna get to see the like most of my deck strategy here, though. It's kind of the bad part of earning Madcap, but like this is game two, and my life total can't change once I find it. So unless he gets has a way to get rid of it. Ooh, where's it at? Where is it at, baby? Damn, all these snapcasters are kind of useless now. Betty Brown and rest in peace. They're only good for blocking. There it is. All right, perfect. Send all to bottom. And then in phase. Pretty sure they have Path to Exile or somebody greater this. He plays this immediately. And does he have it? He's cracking the clue trying to find Path to Exile or some removal for the button Imperion. Yep. Alright. So let's untap upkeep. Draw. Archmage's charm is okay. Uh, can we get control of any of this? I can get control of Raven Spectre. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Um, so we just hold up Archmage's charm as well as Valakut Awakening, and we bottom the other Madcap. Uh. 
the other through the breach, and if we need to bottom it, we'll bottom Archmage's charm. So, or I could play no, because that's my only way to. I could draw two too. I could draw two as well with Archmage's charm instead of uh, countering a spell. Um, so I could play Battlecut Awakening as a land, but that doesn't seem right. So I'm just gonna second phase and. Not swinging in. I could play the Valkyrie Awakening as a land last turn, cracked it to Fiery Islet. And then I'd still have five to cast through the breach if I drew a number pool. That seems like a bad. Uh, I'm definitely gonna let a response to that. Um, yeah, I can't have number pool coming in tapped. Uh, so I'm going to Archmage's charm this. Let's go one, two, three. Archmage's charm. Counter. Ghost Exile. Cloudy Ghost Exile. Could crack this now, but doesn't seem good either. Oh, he just doesn't. He just concedes. <laughs> right. Uh. All right. We swiftly and handily take game one here. Rondo, I should say. Uh, what was I gonna draw? Valakut? I was going to Valakut, so I would have drawn three. What we, yeah, we would have gotten Emrakul too. So, yep. That was a very solid round. Okay. I'm going to update the record here. That was probably just blind of you guys. Let me uh, do it this way. All right, let me go to the bathroom very quickly on a short intermission, and I will be back very briefly. All right.
All right, we're back here for round number two. Today's modern challenge here. Draw seven. Ugh, I can only make blue with this hand and like four of my cards are red, so I'm definitely gonna mull this. Waiting on a round two opponent. Is it Pokemon showdown time again? We will see in a, few, in a few minutes if it's Pokemon Showdown time again. Hopefully everybody's having a great weekend. As always. Uh, there is our second round opponent. Uh, all right. See if they're keeping. Let's see if they have a companion first. Let's see if they're keeping. Uh, I will mole. So I can only produce blue. Why is this card taking so long to load? Let's stay in liar. Must be lagging pretty hard on this side. Interesting. It must be Jund. Hey, how you doing, Jasmine? Welcome back. Um, do I want to mold this hand away? We got four lands of Alakut. Have we got one opt? What could we possibly want to opt off the top against Jund? Uh, they go turn two Goyf. That's pretty bad. So I think we need a mulligan this, so I'm gonna mulligan. We'll be dropping two. Uh, 
uh, two forces and an opt, I guess that's decent. Um, I kind of want to keep the force. What could I want to force against Jund, really, besides like Renin 6? Which is probably a good force target, honestly. So I'm going to drop. I don't want to drop through the breach because it's a combo piece. Um, but I definitely don't want to drop my land or my opt to pitch. I think we have to drop. We need to drop two. We have to drop. I think we need to drop a land here. Yeah, we can scry one. We can drop the river tears. Yeah, I think we have to drop the breach. Because I want to be able to force for six and also use my ops. I'm going to drop the breach. All right. Uh, let's draw one. Which makes charm. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and scry now. Scry one. That is a land. I'm actually going to keep that on top because it turns on Archmage's charm. And then I'll end. And there you go. I'm going to crack this on my end step. Could it be the artwork they're using to, uh, for the reason that it's flashing like that? This looks like it's still loading. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Only on this channel. Yeah, they're all loading well. Scour. It's probably a uh, probably the way you submitted the list. Generally, all his cards are missing artworks. Oh, he's playing Death Shadow with Thought Scour. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to bring in uh, Relic for this. This must be Grixis Shadow. I don't know why his cards are like that. So it's probably either the artwork or the way he submitted the list. That's a free win. Hold on. Let me tell him. Uh, yeah, I'm going.
going to uh, tell him that in chat real quick. What was his name? Uh, oh, of course. Something edgy. Is it probably because he had more than four copies of a car in the deck or because artwork he used? That was definitely Grixis Death Shadow, which can honestly be one of our harder matchups. I'm not going to count that on the record, though. I'm just going to hop straight back into it. Grixis Death Shadow would be an interesting matchup. I think that'd be one of the harder ones, considering they have counter spells. As well as they can cheat out Death Shadow pretty early on. And he was milling himself too, which was never a good sign, which means he probably had something else besides the Shadow to, uh, as an engine, or to cheat out of the graveyard too. Wow, the sand is ass. <laughs> Five lands. But you could keep the fucking force to force one thing. Wait, hold on. It's actually not that bad because the fiery eyelets can draw cards. But you're losing your mana sources on that though, so this is definitely a mole against most decks. Against Tron, I might want to keep this to uh to force away the expedition map and then <laughs> just try to uh, I get value off the fire outlets and top decks, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a mole. Like 99% of the time. All right, waiting on my round two opponent here. Looks like it's Pokemon Showdown time. Can I get my teams back, please? Thank you. I really want to play like parody MTG songs, but I'm not sure about if they're going to get DMC'd or not. Because they're stuck in my head. I'm going to turn on mic notifications for this. Probably is. Uh, 
manage notifications on on okay I should notify us uh, okay you know this man is doing some shiesty shit with only two mods no air balloon on this I'm definitely going to I'm gonna knock off first focus sash yeah that's what I figured that's what I figured keep knocking off you always knock off first against people with only two mods because uh, I could get sand up too. Hold on, I could break sash that way too. If this is sash, yeah, nice fang too. Wow, wow. I don't have drill with quake. He's gonna ice fang. He might not ice fang. Uh, we could just iron tail here, right? You can't have anything for gash down on that. Come on. There's no way you have anything for gash down to one shot me. One shinx. Yeah, don't freeze me. Thank you. All right. Sweet. Uh, then we can go to drill. He used what? Iron tail? Yeah, now we go to drill. Crunch? I don't think so. And EQ. You always knock off against people like that who <laughs> bring in two or three mons trying some fucking shysty, whack, gimmicky bullshit. Oh, my man's got an, an Amoongus. Uh, I could zoom in this actually a little bit more. I just don't feel like it because I'm going to have to change it again. Where's my round two opponent? He's gonna lead with his uh his own landers, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's Cresselia. This is a big knockoff. Fat knockoff. He already loves leftovers. Ice beam, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Can we go to T-Tar now? We can get up rocks. Always with being over there. T-Wave? Oh no, come on, dog. Come on, my guy. Really? You really want this Cresselia to stay in here? I need you to fight through the Paralysis T-Tar. Making sure it's going to notify me. Off of the, uh, the notifications on my PC. Whenever our second round opponent gets here. Break the balloon, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, I go gastro now. Yeah. Earth power. Yeah. All right. Uh, this might be toxic. Uh, I don't want to get toxic to myself, so I'm probably going to go back to T-Tar now. You know, I could go for Scald. Going for Scald is a lot better here. Let's go for Scald. Even if we get toxic, that's fine. At least Scald has a chance to burn anything over here. So we go for Scald. I'm going to restart this lobby because this hand is throwable. This hand is definitely dispensable. So I'm just going to restart the lobby and tag my opponent in chat. Uh, games. New game. Another earth power. Uh, let's recover. Of course he gets a crit, but good thing we recovered first. Yeah. Now let's scald again. Breaching. 
Shuffle three times. Draw something. Uh, we've got a remand. An Arch Mage Charm. And we're going through the breach. Yeah, this is this is keepable here. Dude, my man's still earth powering. Uh, I can ice him here. He's gonna try to actually kill me first. Please freeze. No freeze. Wow. Oh, I was trying to freeze so hard. Freeze. Please. Freeze. Freeze. Free? No freeze. Only spore. <laughs> Fucking Amoongus players, dude. That's fine. Uh, we definitely want to knock off. Oh, we can't knock off anymore because we lost our landers. Uh, we can go T-Tar into Avalanche, though. We just need to fight through one paralysis, and we have, like, three chances to do it. Come on, T-Tar. You got it. Oh, he switches out. And then now if I break paralysis, he knows how to avalanche. Oh, I should have gone for crunch. Uh, we definitely want to go scissor here in roost then. Agility. Uh, yeah, I'm going to mega evolve. Swords dance superpower. Wow. What is my guy running? I've never seen a Mega Metagross with Explosion before. That definitely caught me off guard. Wow. Any forfeits? <laughs> uh, interesting, to say the least. I've legitimately never seen a Mega Metagross with Explosion on it before. That is some... My man was trying to become a god tier with that tech right there. Just didn't work out for him. Dude, where's my round two opponent at? I'm about to... This is going to be a win straight up. Let me tag him in chat one more time. Apologize for the uh, delay here. Man, I can't really control it. <laughs> um, wow definitely leave magna zone here i'm just hp fire it's definitely sash though but we just bring in oh we can't bring in t-tar because it's resistant to sand or mute to sand i should say better yet and oh uh, well that's fine Easy dubskis all around today, huh? Can't say I don't deserve them. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's going to leave Garchomp for sure. I'm just going to go T-Target up rocks here. Because he's probably going to put up rocks himself. He goes Bisharp. Wow. Uh, he's definitely got an iron head. I'm gonna want to go scissor here. And then roost. He goes swords dance. That is some bad shit that he went swords dance. I'm gonna try to superpower. Hopefully he doesn't knock out scissor through a, uh, sucker punch. Okay, nice. We're good. That was scary as shit for a second. Wow. Okay, we have a second round opponent. Uh, got to go. GG. Uh, worth it. All right, finally. And once again, my opponent's going first. I've not got well. Yeah, I have not gotten to go first at all. Uh, starting the set so far since the the last time I was on. I've, since before the last time I was on, matter of fact, they just didn't want me going first. Okay, he needs to actually submit a real list, apparently. Okay, that's fine. 
I'm keeping this hand. <laughs> this hand will not be thrown away. Okay. You guys list didn't save, so we're back here. Round two. Let's see if he keeps. Keep as well, then I don't know what he's on. I don't want to throw away this hand because it's got three man. If we get one more blue source, we can turn on Archmage's charm and then we can also uh get a breach and cool party in hand. Oh my god, is this again really? Do I need to do an update? I think I need to do an update. So it was me all along. Um, I want to leave the game. Let's see. Uh, and try to refresh the page. Okay, nice. All right, that's fine. Okay. I don't know why it uh, made me refresh there. So we have another graveyard fucking deck, dude. These are getting really popular. I've faced three of them in a row now. Um, so my turn, untap, upkeep, draw. Another remand is okay. We'll play an island. Say go. So I definitely want to bring in, I already want to bring in Relic, like, off of that red flag, I need to bring in Relic. Uh plays land for turn taps to blood gas. Oh my god. Blood gas can't block as haste as long as an opponent has ten or less life. Or really airs about from your control, you may return blood gas from your graveyard to the battlefield. Kill one more counter. So we can't sack anything just yet. So I'll take one. All right, let's untap, upkeep, draw. We have remand online now. Another land is okay. Turns on Archmage's Charm. We're putting up Cascade Bluffs. And we'll hold up Remand. Dude, Remand on the play against aggro decks is... Or remand on the draw against aggro decks is so fucking bad. I never get to go first with it. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to bring in that Relic. As well as... Uh, Probably the Madcap. Well, no, we can't bring in Relic and Madcap. You only want Relic against decks that can actually win, like, in other ways through da uh, the set damage from the graveyard. So I probably won't bring in Relic, actually. I'm going to bring in Madcap. Still will have two left. Uh, what response to that one? Um, 
thinking probably want this to go back in the same draw card. Yeah. Definitely remand. Target Blood Artist. Need something's in for three. I'll draw one. Another land decent, I suppose. But I kind of want interaction at this point. He's gonna get in there for three. You can take control of the Mortician Beetle with Archimedes Charm. And that way, if he wants to sacrifice, he has to go for the Mortician Beetle first. So I'm gonna I definitely Archimedes Charm the Beetle. That seems like a really good play right now, because it counts for either player. Okay, take three. He passes turn, untap, upkeep, draw. Another Emrakul, we do not need three of those right now. Um, this produces blue on his turn though. So I, have not, I won't be playing a land by that time it gets to his turn. So I'm gonna put this in first and then I'm gonna hold it up for uh, Archmage and I'm gonna steal the beetle. We'll see if he puts counters on it first and I'm gonna steal after he gets counters. We'll just second phase end and then his go. I really want to steal the beetle, but we can also just remand again and then steal the beetle again. So that we gain tempo. So we might be remanding then charming, depending on what happens here, depending on how many counters the beetle gets or if he gets any counters at all. Uh, yeah, we're in uh, round two now against a uh, great strategy deck here. So he's, is he, if he taps all out, I'm definitely going to remand. Uh, yeah, I'm going to remand this again. Remand again. I'm going to draw. I could also save Charm to steal that thing too. We get in there for three. This is game one of round two. We got it. We got to get on uh, teaching you this game, Jasmine. Trust me, it's not as complicated as uh, high level makes it look. <laughs> not when you first get into it, at least. It's, uh, like I said, it's easier to learn than Yu Gi Oh! but harder to learn the Pokemon. Three. Okay. All right. Uh, let's untap. Keep draw. Bolt is a great draw. Um, but I don't want these going in the graveyard that much, honestly. I think we just bolt the cast. Oh, it just returns it, it doesn't cast. Huh? Bolting cast is probably pretty ass. I did not mean to make that rhyme. Um, but it did. So, we could just go for a land next turn, play Breach Emrakul, and that's the win. So, I'm not going to counter. I'm just going to draw two cards. Or I'm going to use Valkut Awakening. Or actually, we could just play Valkut as a land and then play through the Breach and win. So, that's the win right there. Uh, let's end phase. There we go.
Don't forget Valakut Awakening can also be a land on the back side. Is our opponent there to take priority? We do take timeouts. <laughs> we also take timeout wins. <laughs> we take those. For sure. No shame at all. Uh, yeah. So he, I let Blood Artist resolve, and if he goes for a combo piece after that, I just Archmage's Charm and counter the combo piece instead of the Blood Artist. Alright, I'm pretty sure this game's probably over on my next turn. All right, on the second a while. This dude's taking the dookie in the middle of the round, probably. There we go. It went all that time just to get them recalled. It's gonna try Blood Artist again. Which is actually gonna resolve this time. I need to, oh wait. No, it, it probably won't resolve because I can still win on my next turn. Uh, yeah, so I can Archmage's Charm this, um, I can Archmage's Charm this, and, or I can take control of the Blight Beetle too, actually, uh, I'm gonna take control of the Blight Beetle. Actually, it hits the board, yeah, Blood Artist does resolve. He doesn't, he doesn't have an outlet to uh, sack anything of it, too. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm trying to steal the beetle while he sacks it. This is combat step. Base charm and control. Beetle, little leap. And then I guess I bolt the. Uh, oh, wait. I added. Let's see. Blue, add two blue. There's not a way I could bowl as well. That cost three blue. Uh, so yeah, I am taking two. And then next turn, he's getting cooled, emra cooled. 
Oh, I'll just pick a token of this. Uh, so we'll untap, upkeep, draw. We can play this as a land. Uh, how do you turn it? Send to face down. Oh, that's not how you do it. How do you turn it? Uh, whoops. Oh, it's really a turn it. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, all face. There we go. All face. Play as land. And one, two, three, four, five. Through the breach. Oh, and he has the sat. Wait, wait. Oh, it puts more counters on Mortician Beetle while Emrakul goes in. That is dope. Uh, Rave. Attack. Annihilator 6, sack 6 permanence. Annihilator. So it is uh, 18 in total. Uh, and then Imrakul dies on my instep. When Imrakul dies, you get shuffled back in. In step, uh, yes, shuffle, and then here go. Our opponent's being a trooper playing through the Greater Breach into Miracle. Gassed. I'm above 10 life, which is good. Oh, wait, how did he? Wait, 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 wait. Where's the other blood gassed? Oh, and then landfall. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, what? 
So it doesn't have haste because uh, I'm above 10 life. Uh, sure, he wants to go to game number two. Inside board. Uh, we don't have much against Mono Black. I don't even think we want Relic. We just want the Madcap package here. Uh, and probably take out a few remands. Uh, put in the Matic Caps with the Platinum Imperions. Don't put in the Relics. You only want to run Relic against like Oopsaw Spells and like uh, Ad Nauseam and fucking Living End. Because those can actually kill you in one turn. Uh, I do want to keep Archmage's Tron because it's still a Beetle. Cascade bluffs. There's land, ceremonious rejection, cryptic. Hmm. I have something else in that slot in my opening hand instead of cryptic. I'm only gonna run two cryptics. This deck is pretty fast. Uh, Emerald cool. All four is fine. Bolts are actually good here. Ah, it's a graveyard deck. Like I can take out two bolts. Uh, no relic, no remands because we are on the draw. Snapcaster can still block. Um, I think I take out one snapcaster because I took out one bolt. Yeah, we just take out. Uh, maybe I'll put back in the cryptic. Hmm. Nah, it's not worth it. I'll take out one snap. All right, then we'll save. All right. Shuffle. All now, if he has a way to kill us from the grave, like, in one turn, uh, that's kind of ass. Um... But we have game three to bring in Relic if we need it, since we won game one. Definitely looking to mull this hand away, though. Four lands and two ops. You can definitely do better than that. Uh, I'm gonna mull. It's an all at the top. Raw seven. Mm. This is an awkward hand, especially with Imperion opening hand and not in the deck. We only have one more Imperion in the deck to Mac tap into. Um, and we don't have any ops or way to get more lands. Um, so I'm going to have to mull this again. And we'll be going down to five. Draw. Blank and scry. And then we also have through the breach. Archmage's Charm is okay, I suppose. Um, still the Beetle if he plays it turn one, which he probably has cause, since he kept seven. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to bottom two. 
I got a bottom two. I'm gonna bottom the river tears. Oh, I have two scry lands. Probably. Probably mole. I could put a scrying on the bottom, I suppose. I think scrying twice is uh, way too slow. And probably bottom the through the breach. As we can draw cards with Archmage Charm and the rest. But if we draw Emrakul, then it's good. Yeah, we, we have to bottom the three to breach here. We don't have an option. Uh, so we'll do it like that. Misty Rainforest. Forest I don't have a card. Hmm. I was like, Mr. Rainforest, what? That's not the same deck. Moles once. He's got to drop one. So let's move. It's game two. He can go first if he wants to. Swamp into Beetle. Okay. 
Let's untap upkeep draw. And we're cool. Let's scry one. That's not what we want. Send to bottom. And then end. There we go. Two mana, two black mana. For Blood Artist. That's a pretty fucking decent ass curve if it's Blood Artist. For the Ghast again. Oh, it's a uh, reassembling skeleton. All right, I'll take one. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, land's okay, I suppose. Let's play the Cascade Bluffs. And then just you can't do anything. <laughs> uh, Tar opponent is going to be free to cast spells, and they're going to resolve. Since our lowest uh, mana curve card here in our hand is Archimedes Charm, as well as uh, Valkyrie Awakening, we can take the Beetle if he sacks a creature. Two mana for Blood Artist. Okay. Swinging for two. Yep. Nothing done and step. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Opt is okay here, but we want to play the reflecting pool, which turns on Archmage's charm. And also Valica Awakening. So there's no sack outlets. I think I'm just gonna draw two cards and hopefully one of them is a three to breach. And I can keep fishing for the combo. You can react to whatever he does. If this is like a must counter combo piece, I'm definitely going to counter it, but um, I'm looking to draw two cards here actually with Archmage's Charm. Uh, here's something Skeleton. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, I can't do much about that. One, two, he can attack with this too. Oh, no, it's a zero one. Okay, so that makes sense. And then in step, I'm gonna draw two cards. Uh, in step. Draw two to me. Draw two. Mad cap is okay. Let's untap, upkeep, draw. 
do the breach even better. So we can go River of Tears now. Main phase two. Boom, or use this. Play Metacap Experiment. This goes to grave. Uh, expand deck. And Prime Imperion needs to be here, which it will be. Um, but depending on how many cards deep it is, we shall see. That is an Ember Cool. That is a Snapcaster Mage. It's funny when Snapcaster Mage just randomly pops up in there somewhere. Because it's like a different artwork than the rest of them. Prime Imperion. And the rest go on the bottom. And end. Here we go. So next turn we have next turn we have Emrakul. Go to breach into Emrakul. Two for Zulport Cutthroat. All right, let's untap, upkeep, draw, and let's play this as alt face, land, and then one, two, three, four, five, through with reach. Those have death touch, do they? All right, yeah. I need to update the record. Play another. Select another deck. This one. All right. So, oh, hold on. I need to resubmit the main deck.
Okay, so we um are two and zero now. I need to close that. That's still up in the intro music. Um. Run it again. Uh, modern. All right. Let me redo it real quick. Refresh just in case it gives me that um, loading card thing. Must be a little bit of a bug there with the client. Modern to, there we go. I need to go get some water real quick. This hand's a stinker sphincter, I think. Um, even though if we get a land off the top from scrying, it's not. But um, off of principle, I am going to mull this. I will be back.
<clears throat> Alright, we're back here. Waiting on round three opponent. <sighs> they get back to showdown here. My man's got a kill deal and a guard chomp though. I have to lead Gastrodon. He leads Skarmory, so now I'm just gonna go to Magnazone. And start the timer. <laughs> uh, Thunderbolt. Here comes the whirlwind. Oh, Iron Head. That's fine. Let's kill the Skarmory now. Uh, you have to be Charizard Y, which means I want to go T Tar and then Landris. Oh, he could be Charizard with X one for Earthquake too. He's X, okay. That's fine. Uh, if he went for Earthquake there, that would have kind of been bad. So I guess let's go for Landers now, because he has to have Earthquake. Or wait, I don't know if Charizard X actually gets Earthquake. I'm sure they do, right? No, okay, he doesn't have it. He would Earthquake there. Uh, but now I'm going to Stone Edge or Tim 2. He goes Tangrowth, okay. That's fine. We definitely want to get rid of these rocks now. Uh, I can go drill and rapid spin. That's fine. Um, let's rapid spin away the rocks here. And then we can go into... I kind of want to get rocks up myself. Uh, they do run HP fire, which is a problem. I have to let something die. I don't think I want it to be drill. What's the worthless mine here? Probably scissor. So here I can just mega evolve source dance. Uh, he has protect. It's a roost here. Oh, stun spore. Holy fuck. Am I faster? 218. 186. Yeah, I definitely don't want that to be. Wait. Yeah, it was faster. Um, so I definitely should have gone for superpower there instead of bullet punch. I'll try to go for Swords Dance again. And then go for superpower on top of it. That's fine. Uh, let's go for Swords Dance again. Now he swaps out. Okay. We can try to bullet punch. I wanted to sack scissor anyway, so that's fine. All right, so now we can go to... Uh, well, that's fine. Now we can go to. Now nah, I have to stack some melts now. Yeah, I really want to get up rocks. I guess we just go to sand, anyways. That's fine. T Tar is dying. Uh... Actually, no, he's not. He's going to want a Sacred Sword. I'm going to remake this lobby here. New game, refresh, calm mind, earthquake, icy wind. Okay, then we go to drill and we're faster. So we earthquake here. Earthquake hits everything. 
Sweet. Uh, I have to Iron Head here. Try to make him flinch, then go for Earthquake. Flinch. Flinch. Oh my god. Oh, that's fine. Um, now I want to spam Ice Beam. Yeah. And Frozen. Oh, are you serious? Oh, okay. I thought it was the Freeze Berry. Um, so now he's going to want to go to Kiram. He can Toxic. Oh, are you shitting me? I thought I was gonna want to go to Kiram. Wow. Holy shit. That's annoying as shit. Um, ice beam, I guess. Smart player there definitely would have gone to their Kiram. Um, wonder if I could I could probably still survive a, a Giga Dream from Tangrowth at this HP. Yeah. And this is gonna do a shit ton. And probably is gonna kill them. Yeah. Uh, I kind of need to save the sand, right? Yeah, we can HP fire this. Yeah, let's HP fire here. Oh, well, that's fine. We can flash cannon, flash cannon. Well, flash can doesn't kill its. Oh yeah, never mind. Fuck. He's faster than my T-Tar for sure. That's annoying. I played that well. Uh, let's go to another one. Waiting on round three opponents here. <laughs> oh man, this hand I might consider keeping, depending on if I'm on the player on the draw. Lee Lando. Uh, go Magnazone, lock him in. HP fire, HP fire. PK fire! <laughs> This core, uh, it really sucks, but I'm going to have to, uh, I can go drill and try to dodge a quake and then I can rapid spin. Source dance. All right. Uh, that's not good. Uh, let's go to Lando. Ice fin Really? Wow. Okay. Fuck. All right, we can. He's gonna do some bullshit. Maybe we can live. Yeah, I can't. He. I didn't know he was gonna fucking be packing ice fang. That was some just a bad match up there. All right, let's uh, not fuck around on shutdown anymore. As soon as he source dance, that was over. Did not know. Didn't know there was going to be a Source Dance set. Should have gone to Landers first. I was thinking about rap spin, rap spin in the way to Rocks, and I was thinking he was going to want to... Uh... I'm going to win this one. I'm going to multitask, because I deserve to win that showdown match. Uh, My man's got a 62 card deck. Knock off. I'm gonna keep this on the draw.
Look at this man's sleeves, bro. Okay, he's keeping one. Oh, he's keeping six, I mean. Bottoming one. All right. Uh, Playland. And hope to hit an untapped land off the opt. Oh, you slept my landers? Asshole. Still has Intimidate, though. Novus. Oh, this is Night Tribal? Hello? Alright, we won. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's focus on the real important thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's playing Night Tribal. As long as Novice Knight is enchanted or equipped, can attack as though I didn't have Defender. This is some jank! Opt. Right one. Already have Bolt in hand, we need untapped land. Bottom that. Draw an untapped land because I'm a professional player. I am a professional player. Never doubt. Never didn't have it. Okay. Uh. Untap, upkeep, draw, through the breach, we'll play the untap land that I professionally drew off the top of the deck. We have two remands in the shoot, and a lightning bolt in the shoot. I can lightning bolt this before it gets enchanted or equipped. So we'll go second phase, end. There we go. Oh wait, yeah, he took one. Okay, I was about to say he didn't take one before. I mean, it's playing 62 card tribal jank. This is a list Sergio would want to play. This, oh, I mean, it's playing the old swamps too. Like the, um, yeah, what set there? Those are from, but they're like the old full art lands compared to these. So we we can bolt this before it gets equipped. Uh, he didn't want to cast anything, so I guess we try to bolt it now. Uh, target the knight. Okay, he's gonna God's will and get or something. That's fine. This has to be God's willing. I'll break the elements. Uh, okay. Wait. Alright, creatures gain protection from the chosen color till end of turn. This is on your end step. Uh I guess that actually makes sense. That's fine. Uh so we'll grave that. Uh untap, upkeep, draw. Um, I'm gonna look that up actually real quick. Uh, read the element. 
developments roaming what set is this from from 14. So I guess that's fine then. Yeah, I figured. All right. Um, I have not drawn yet. Have I? Uh, you know, bring the elements. I haven't drawn yet. All right, uh, I'll draw. I look through the breach. Um, let's play River Tears. It makes black. We do have Archmage's Charm up. And we can steal it in response to it being equipped, though, which is good. This man's trying to play Voltron or Night Trouble. I can't tell because usually people play Voltron with those kind of effects with the protection effects. Man, this guy doesn't land. Honestly, I probably just want to draw two cards, but I'm definitely going to remand first because that's more tempo. Depending on what he cast here. He probably has God's Willing in there too if he's playing Brave of the Elements. I will alert response to that. Um, I'm going to attempt to remand this. Target the Lance. All right, we'll draw one. A land. I'd like to protect one at least.
didn't want to attack. I did not want to attack in. Uh, untap, upkeep. Oh, because that's defender, right? Uh, draw. Uh, play land. We can hold up cryptic. Uh, we can draw a card and counter the lance, I suppose. Or we could also... No, that wouldn't be mad efficient. So yeah, I am going to uh, counter and draw. I could also probably delay it more by bouncing this back to his hand when he goes to equip it and then draw. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um... Probably more man efficient to bounce this while he tries to equip and then draw. Okay. Uh. Hmm. The only thing I'm scared of is the equipment, I suppose. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. So now I am going to counter the equipment instead of just bouncing it. We do need to draw at least another land in Emrakul, so I do need to make one of these modes draw a card. Uh, Rimrock Knight? Oh, this is definitely... <laughs> I might actually hold on to... I might actually hold on to the Kirk and just remand this. Yeah. Um, wait, how do you add the red? Oh, this is supposed to be a mountain. Oh, so that's a mountain. I thought it was a plains. Yeah, I figured that was a mountain. Uh, hmm. Response to the dwarf. <sighs> Wait, how much is still call Lance? Still call Lance is. Still Claw Lance is two, okay. So I'm going to... I guess remand this. Let's remand the dwarf. Draw. There's our land. We just need Emrakul now. All right, let's untap, upkeep, draw. Another Archmage's Charm, we'll play our land and just hold up Cryptic in these Archmages. We could also steal, I guess, but that doesn't seem good at all. Main phase two, in, there we go. So now I'm definitely going to counter dr or tap draw, uh, probably. If he plays that Knight to give these buffs, I'm going to tap draw. Oh, wait, these can attack anyways, right? Uh, 
don't want him doing that when Emrakul comes down, so I'm gonna counter this and draw. It doesn't really matter which ones I use. Counter draw. Where's my Emrakul at? Emrakul, we need you. And these cannot attack, and he can't cast his... Whatchamacallit, because he already tapped his mountain. The Rock Knight. We can also Archmage Charm get control of one of those if he tries to equip to it. So we'll untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, we have no way to... We have no way to um, draw extra cards here. So for now, we just have to uphold interaction. I have to think about that one hitting the field. I mean, I guess because it doesn't have... Like, it can't attack, so I guess that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. He still has still claw hand, lance in hand. Which one of these was a horizon land I could crack draw a card? That'd be really useful right now. Uh, I'm just going to use both these Archmage's Charms. Actually, let's tap. You. That's two mana. Plus one more. You. Pay three for Archmage's Charm. Draw two. Here's number cool. Uh, don't need to do anything else on the instep. So I'll take the turn, untap, upkeep, draw. Play. I don't want to show them my entire land base. I don't need to play anymore. I don't need to play or anything. One, two, three. Or five. I need to play on Manatai, so I'll play one more Cascade Bluffs. Actually, uh, one, two, three. Yeah. So I'll play one more Cascade Bluffs. Uh, then we'll go one, one, two, one, three, four, five. And then uh, through the breach. All right, and then we'll slap Emrakul. This goes to Grave. Start combat, swing. All right. <laughs> I 
All right, three and no, baby. Uh, unless you have no, because it's pro black. I'm not gonna swing with our bro. You can't do anything against the Ariag champions. You're literally a mono black deck. The future. So with that being said, I'm gonna get on out of here. Appreciate all the support.